do you know who I work for? I work for you. Uh, you do. Yeah. Um, you guys don't vote yet, but the reality is um, a little over half of you voted for your parents voted for me to go to Washington and represent you, and that's my job. So if um, it, it, that's what I did. And uh, it's a temporary job, two years at a time. But I work with the president. I've ridden on Air Force One, you know, the big airplane. And I work at the Capitol about four days a week. But I live here in the district and come home every weekend. And I have kids um, younger than you. I have a whole year. So you look like really old people to me. Don't push them back. Yeah. Teachers are nice. Yeah. How's the food? Really? Really? I've never heard that. Honestly, most people hate cafeteria food. Yeah. How many people, most of you guys bring your lunch? Or, how, many, how many bring your lunch? Oh, that's why it's good. Your parents are like What's your name? Don't better look at Josh. He's wearing a suit and tie today. He's all dressed up. He'll be your next representative. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's okay. I don't even need to like walk in shoes. <laughs> um, yeah. My wife says I'm not really very snappy, but that's okay. So um, we have a flag here today to present to your teacher. This is a flag that uh, is flown over the United States Capitol, and um, so it's a symbol of our country. And uh, I'm here to give it to whoever's here to accept it. And maybe Sultan will accept it. But, but should I bring everybody else up too? Come on yeah, up. Come on up. Of course. Come on, Dave. All right. Well, before before we officially accept it, uh, I want to thank Congressman Hannah First of all, here today. Uh, I would like to say that our Board of Education, and this is Ms. Edwards, Ms. Jacqueline Edwards, our president, meets in this room, this very room. And a couple of meetings ago, in fact, I think there were two meetings in a row that Mr. Radomski in the back here, the gentleman in the blue shirt and blue tie, was visiting a board meeting. Mr. Radomski used to be a board member, and we were talking about at our board meeting a veterans exemption for veterans of wars, and he came to talk about it. He noticed that the flag that we pledged to was just that little flag up there, and he thought that we should have a nicer flag for this room where the board meets and where the public comes and where the children come every day to visit the library. Uh, and I believe that he talked that over with several people, but maybe it was just his idea. It was a great idea. At that same meeting, this gentleman here in the green sweater, Mr. Gary Markowitz, who is a veteran, Mr. Markowitz is a pretty special veteran. He has three purple hearts. Anybody know what a purple heart is? And why you get a purple heart? Yeah. You do? I think it's like oh, an award, but I don't know like why you get it. Very important award. You yes. get a purple heart when you're wounded in battle, when you get hurt fighting for our country. And that gentleman right there has three of them. I don't know that I've ever met anyone else with three. So that's pretty special. We have veterans in our midst. Maybe we ought to give them a hand. in any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who will decide where to go. You'll look up and down the streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And if you may not find any, you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's open or there and the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and fancy as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't do, just go right along, it'll start happening too. All the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up, you'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high fibers who soar down high heights. You won't lie behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole gang and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you will talk all the best. Except
except when you don't, because sometimes you will. I'm sorry to say so, but sadly it's true that bang-ups and hang-ups can happen to you. You can get all hung up in a prickly perch and your game will fly on. You'll be left in the lurch. You'll come down from the lurch with an unpleasant bump, and chances are then that you'll be in a slump. And when you're in a slump, you're not in for much fun, and something yourself is not easily done. You will come to a place where the streets are not marked. Some windows are lighted, but mostly they're dark. A place you could spring with your elbow and chin. Do you, dare, do you dare to stay out? Do you dare to go in? How much can you lose? How much can you win? And if you go in, should you turn left or right? Or right and three quarters? Or maybe not quite? Or go around back and sneak in from behind? Simply it's not on the schedule of time for a mind maker upper to make up his mind. You can get so confused that you start into rain <coughs> down long little rows at a break neck and face. And grind on for miles across British wild space, headed, I fear, to the most useless place, the waiting place. The people just waiting, waiting for a train to go, or a bus to come, or a plane to go, for the mail to come, or the rain to go, or the snow to come to rain, for the snow to snow, or rain to run for a yes or no. We're waiting for the hair to go. For the hair. Come, come to D.C., and I promise you a tour of the, of the Capitol. You, you can uh, go out on, because um, you're, if you're under 12, I can actually get you on the floor of the, where all the argument goes back to, or the debate they call it, you know.